Hey guys, so a little bit earlier I uploaded a video of Luna Freya doing the Ashura hard mode trial. So now we're going to do at least two more trials. We're going to really quickly visit the Iron Giant Extreme and show a fast way to do it with Luna Freya. Then we're going to pop over to the Demon Chimera Extreme and see how well she does on Chimera. Now the Iron Giant Extreme is overall not a challenging trial. It took me like, I think, 9 or 10 turns to do it with uh, Savior Lightning as my Mage DPS. That was a blind run. It could have definitely been better when I did it, um, you know, last month. But we're going to do Luna Freya. So base form, irrelevant, we're not really using it. Shift form, she's going to be doing her capping. Her shift form is pretty universal in terms of build. Um, and then Deuce, we're going to take his as well. Base form, we don't really care that much, but there it is. And then Shift form is what we care about. He's got, out of curiosity, uh, maxed out Evo magic, uh, 140 Evo damage, 175 LB damage, and he's got the chain cap increase with Lightning's. It is Lightning's STMR, right? Or is that the free one? It's probably Lightning's STMR. I'm sure it is. It is Lightning's STMR. Outstanding. Okay, rest of the team is honestly irrelevant. It really is. This is going to be a quick OTK. Um, so it took it took Lightning 10 turns. It's going to take Luna Freya 2 turns. Unfortunately, she does have to do the classic Terra setup where she, uh, you know, she powers up on turn 1 and all that. So turn 1, we're going to Magnus for the LB damage. We're going to Magic Boost, and we're going to Water in Peril. Uh, this boss is um, weak to water, so this is actually right up Luna Freya's alley. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll use um, Faisalus to put up some mitigations for the boss, just for the sake of it. Uh, we'll use Lightning to shift and do a break on the boss. Just so turn one, the little meteor the boss does is less painful. It's overall not painful anyway, but you know now it's less painful. And let's fill some LB and do a Rod in Peril with Realm, and we're going to cover Physical with Charlotte. Okay, so again, like, this boss is really easy anyway, but he is very, very bulky. So, out of curiosity, how much max HP does this boss have? Uh, well, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and LB with Lightning for a Spirit Break. If I have someone with Libra, we'll go ahead and check the boss's um, max HP. No one has Libra, so we're not going to know how much HP the boss has. Let's just see how, how much we overkill him by. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and tag chain with Faisalit, and we will um, we will cap that chain with our, uh, with our Lunar Freyas. Let's go ahead and chain and cap, and there is Iron Giant Extreme. That should have been all missions, I think, turn two. And we did 5.3 billion damage. We definitely overkilled him by a large margin. And that was the extreme version. That really was. Um, it's just, yeah, when you're weak to water, uh, that's kind of like being weak to fire versus terror. It just doesn't end well for you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop over to the demon chimera though and see how, how good we do on that. So let me find a properly built friend and I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys, we just popped the Iron Giant in one turn, or two turns, I guess. Um, now it's time for Demon Chimera. Now this one, as we know, we have this trial on Global. Everyone knows how bulky this trial is. Um, and you also know that he is extremely resistant to water magic. So you're like, what are you going to do with Lunar Freya? Her LB is water. You're right. Her LB is water, but her chaining can be thunder, which is awesome. Um, I mentioned it briefly during the Ashura video at the very end where I used her thunder, her Thunderbolt chain um, and pointed out how it could be really strong. Well, we're going to lean into that Thunderbolt chain all the way this time. We're going to chain Thunder with Luna Freya on every turn. Most turns. One or two turns we can't. Anyway, so this is my Luna Freya in the base form. Now, she has the black magic skills, Thundega. I enhanced mine to plus two. It is Chaos Wave Awaken Frames, high modifier. Um, she can only triple cast black magic naturally, so I gave her the, the um, Irony's Band. This is a accessory that gives 50% magic, but more importantly, it gives quad cast black magic. So this on Luna Freya is amazing. If you wonder where it comes from, this comes from the Irony's Trial, which um, I do have a video of that. It's not on Global yet. It comes later, but anyway, it's an accessory that gives anyone in the game quad cast black magic. 
that's going to be great with her natural thunder skill that I enhanced to do... It's not going to be great damage, just truth be told, but it's going to be decent damage. So in her base form, we've geared for um, 175 Beast, 150 Demon Killer. It's a little bit challenging to gear mages for these killers. But the shift form is using evocation. On the shift form, we've got maxed out evo damage, maxed out evo magic. We're not going to use her L Beast. We went all in for the evocation stats. We are capped on both. Um, whoops. Uh, so here's the gear we're doing, and we're going to be using her Thunderbolt Chain in the shift form. This is an Evocation Thunder Chain, and you can quad cast it. Oh, it's going to be nice. I hope. That's the plan, at least. We're going to hope for the best. Um, and we're taking Mickey. Now, Mickey um, is currently right now farming the plus three, or the plus four staff. So um, the plus four staff would make Lunafreya better, And but I'm the impatient one. I said, you know, just go ahead and build her now. I don't, I don't feel like waiting. So this could have been a better one, but I, I wanted to go ahead and get this done now. So Mickey built me a base form, very similar to the one I'm using. We've got 205 Beast, 180 Demon Killing. Um, there we go. And we've got the Irony's Band for that nice quad cast black magic. Shift form, we've got uh, 300 Evo Magic, 265 Evo Damage. And again, if the staff was plus four, it'd be maxed out. I just didn't want to wait. I wanted to get this video out there. So, a uh, little bit low on the Evo Magic, but that's because I didn't want to wait for the plus four staff. Trust me, guys, this staff takes a lot of farming. It is really time intensive. I just, I went really hard on it last night to get it done. But, yeah. So, these are our Lunar Freyas. We're going to be doing Thunder. The rest of the team, um, we're going to bring Bayamit Fina, Draconian Fina. Uh, she is here literally just to remove the field. That's all she's really doing. She's going to remove the field, and we're done. Um, I gave her Nethocyte, I also gave her the Passive Provoke uh, Death Immunity, and I gave her the Anniversary Moogle TMR, which gives her mana at the start of the turn, so she can still do things after being mana drained. That's all she's going to do. She's not going to damage, damage. she's not going to contribute damage or anything at all. If I had my own Terra on the JP server, I could use the Ramu field and boost damage by a lot by giving a Thunder Amplify field. Unfortunately, I don't have Terra. Now, also, Luna Freya could summon Ramu as well, and it would give the Thunder field, but that would consume an entire turn. It's not worth losing a whole turn to summon Ramu. We're just going to do without a damage field. It shouldn't matter. Realm is going to um, do Amplify for Thunder and then Rod and Peril, the usual. Uh, Phasey is going to uh, cover for us, you know, the usual stuff. And then Charlotte is going to cover. And I gave her Toxic Rain to help out, and we've got Nethocyte on Realm to help out. So, there we go, and, yeah, okay. So let's give this a try. Alright, so here's the field. Um, technically, Phasey can tank it with the field still up, but I don't, I don't want to bother with that. I'm just going to make it nice and easy, but we're going to remove that field. We're going to go ahead and shift Draconian Fina on turn one. Summon Bamet. To replace that field, field is now gone. Now, Bamit field boosts light damage, but we're not using light damage. So, it's like a whatever thing. Let's go ahead and shift Thazy to the base form, and we're going to cover and resist. We're going to have Charlotte uh, just put up physical cover. We're going to have Realm do a Rod in Peril, and we will do a Thunder Amplify. Now, we need to unlock uh, Quad Cast on turn one. So, turn one is going to be pretty terrible damage because we need to unlock Quad Cast. So this is we are gonna chain light. So I guess technically we are using light element with with Bayment Field, but yeah, th this is this is not really a damage turn. That was the setup turn. All right, so turn one is the physical attacks. If you've done this on global, you know exactly how this fight goes. There's there's no change on the JP server. Physical magic, physical magic, then a drain turn. All right, so now we are going to let's go ahead and have Phasey do her mitigations. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to disease the boss. Who has my disease? Somebody has my disease. Here. Oh, shoot. We have two. Oh, we have two diseases. Which one is the disease? I think this is toxic rain. I must have given her two things. Ah, oh, this is yeah, it's toxic rain. Okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go ahead and shift. And now we're gonna we're gonna chain her her thunder strike. All right. So let's chain four times. Just all in for the thunder strike damage. Now, it, uh. This this is evocation damage. Now, if the Ramu field was up, it still would not boost this damage. Ramu will only boost damage in the base form 
if we had Ramu, like if we had if we had Ramu from Magitek or from Neo Basin's Terra, that'd be great. But we don't. Uh, Realm, I'd like to do her LB, but it's not ready. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and have, we'll have Realm fill LB three times. Uh, actually, we, oh, we don't. I didn't give Realm enough HP. Look at me being a badster. I did not give Realm enough HP to triple cast that, so we have to only double cast it. Oh, it feels bad. Okay. Now we're going to chain Thunderstrike. This is going to be respectable damage, hopefully. 17% per turn. That is not bad. Um, Yeah. Uh, we have really nothing to do with Draconian Fina. She's literally here just to remove the field and do Nethysite for us. And that's pretty much it. Okay, here's a magic turn. Uh, we did remove the field, so the damage is going to be pretty low. We're not really worried about it. Yeah, it's. I mean, it hurts a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and now we can amplify with um, with realm even bigger amplify. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh cover, I guess, with Charlotte. Um, anything else we want to do? Not really. Let's go ahead and just chain th ch chain uh, chain thunder strike again. Pretty good damage. All right. Uh, there's nothing to do with uh, with her, so we'll just have her chill. Um, I guess Phasey will heal herself, and we'll just wait. Bayman, like Bayman Fina is just just there. She 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 removed the field, and that that's all we really care about. <laughs> all right. So this is going to be a physical turn, which is um you know no damage taken. So now we're in the base form with Luna Freya. So the damage is going to go down a large amount. Just fair warning. But we can quad cast, because of the Irony's Claw, we can quad cast the Thunder Skill. And it, it, it is Chaos Wave Awakened Frames. So. And at, at this point, this is where the Ramu Field would be a big help if we had it. But we don't. So whatever. Um... Let's go ahead and Toxic Rain again, so we can get a little bit of bonus damage here. This is a damage turn for Phazy. Uh, her cover should be up for one more turn. It is. We'll go ahead and guard Phazy just to be safe. Uh, let's... I guess we can summon Bayman Field again, because why not? We, we actually will be doing a small amount of light damage again later in the fight. Alright. So this is the um, Thundaga skill. As you can see, this is... When I said it was unimpressive, I understated. It is garbage. Yeah, we're basically just waiting to go back into the shift form again. Um, let's go ahead and double LB fill. Her health is full. I wish I'd given Realm more HP. Ooh, it feels bad that I, I made that mistake. I did not give her enough HP. So I, I can't I can't ever quad cast the um or I can't ever triple cast the the the, the fill skill. I, I I All right, whatever. I'm over it. Okay. Um that damage was really, really disappointing. Oh well, oh well, it's fine. Once we get her, once we her shift form comes off cooldown, and we can do that good elemental chaining, it's gonna be fine. Um. All right, so I guess we need. Uh, let's see. We need to imperil. No, we need to. Do we have a magic buff right now? We don't. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a magic buff, and let's do a thunder in peril. Let's go ahead and refresh cover with um, with Charlotte, uh, Bayamit Fina. <laughs> Can just sit here and look dumb because she doesn't have anything to do. We can just guard her. Um, Phasey, I don't know. We'll just do something. Fill LB, whatever. Alright, so this is the drain turn. Uh, we are provoking it with Bayamit Fina. This is also going to silence us, but we've got uh, Riku's Pouch on Alexander Charlotte, and we've got um, Isunaga on on Draconian Fina. So we can, we, can, we can get rid of the silence. Now, Draconian Fiona got Mana Drain, but I gave her the Anniversary Moogle TMR, so she she refills some mana automatically, which is enough to net the site after, um, uh, as we need it. Okay, so next turn, we can pop the, uh, the Shift Form again. So, we're gonna go ahead and unlock 
quadcast again so we can do some good thunder chaining when we when we do shift. Uh, before I do that, I kind of want to... Oh, Rod and Peril is not ready. So I guess we're going to... LB here? Yeah, let's go ahead and... Toxic Rain for a little bit of bonus damage. Um, let's go ahead and unlock. And Phazy will cover and resist buff as we get ready for some... Uh, some magical attacks coming up soon. Oh, and Fina can just guard. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have I should have cured I should have used Silence Cure on um on Fina this turn. Whoops! Ah, that was a mistake. And we're gonna be kind of busy. We're gonna be really busy soon, actually. Um, actually, I can I can do it with Charlotte this turn. How's her cover looking? I didn't I, di I didn't really plan out my turns. I kind of like got, got this idea on the fly. I should have planned them out better. Um we're going to we're going to need not the site. Let's go ahead and cure silence with Charlotte. Okay. Let's um let's rod in peril for this big damage. Let's go ahead and thunder amplify for later. Let's go ahead and shift and do some thunder strikes. All right. Let's quad cast thunder strike. Go ahead and shift. Uh, this is a magic damage turn, so we need um, some mitigations and all with Phazy. So she'll do this and this. Yeah. All right. So this will probably push the boss below uh, 50, so we need to start Nethesiting every single turn. Yep, it's time. Nethesite time. So Charlotte... Or Baymet Fina will be doing Nethesite for pretty much every turn for the remainder of the fight. Okay. Some magical attacks on Shoreline Fina and Daisy. Not a problem. Double win. We remove the field. We don't really care. We also did a resistance buff. Uh, let's see here. The boss is still diseased, so I'm going to take this turn to refresh physical cover while we've got a moment. Let's go ahead and reload Thunderstrike. I guess we're going to do... And amplify while I'm thinking of it with realm. Um, we don't need any healing. Uh, we don't need really anything. Yeah, so I guess we'll just chain thunderstrike. Let's go. Decent damage. Um, okay, so we need to net the site. Oh, that wasn't the site, right? That was yeah, net the site. Uh, and Sherline, Fina, and Daisy will, uh, do resistant cover, I guess. I don't know. Something. If I had brought Terra, uh, the damage would have been increased a little bit. You know, some Thunder, Thunder Fields. You know what I should have done also is done the dual cast reflect thing. I didn't even think of that. I should have, I should have set that up. Oh, well. It doesn't really matter. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so once again, we're back in the base form with Luna Freya, where her damage goes down the toilet. Ah, uh, yeah, damage is damage is gone. <laughs> um, we've got disease up still. Okay, so sure. Uh, we've got two turns until we can reload our quad cast, so we will just quad black magic uh, to do some depressing damage. Um. How's Rod and Peril looking? Rod and Peril, four turns. Let's go ahead and do an LB with Realm while we've got a free moment here. Uh, and then it's turn nine. This is a this is a magic turn. We'll go ahead and guard Phazy just to make her take even less damage. Let's go ahead and chain our our laughable Thunder Chains in the base form, which is doing nothing. And we'll net the site to stop the healing. Okay, so once the shift form comes off cooldown, we'll go ahead and finish this fight out. It's definitely going to happen before turn 15. So we've, we're definitely getting the 15 turn clear in. Feels good. Alright. Um, two turns on shift, one turn on quad cast. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and refresh physical cover. It's, it's a drain turn. Um... Rod and Peril, three turns. The boss is not diseased right now, so we're going to go ahead and fix that with Realm. Disease. Uh, let's go ahead and do some chaining. Let's 
The hit point didn't even move. Outstanding. Let's go ahead and net the sight, and then Phasey, uh, whatever. You know, whatever. We're just waiting. Just refresh, cover, and resist buff. Who cares? Okay. Bunch of deaths, but I gave her the anniversary Moogle so she can, um... Oh, you know what? No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ignore me, ignore me. Um, okay, so what do we need to do here? We need to... Rod and Peril is still two turns away. Uh, Shift is ready next turn. Let's go ahead and unlock Quadcast. Uh... Yeah, let's unlock Quadcast. Let's do a Limit Burst here. Let's do a Physical Cover here. Uh, let's just repeat you, and we will net the site. Because we have the Anniversary TMR, so we've got um, enough mana to do that. Okay, so here, here's 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 the, the, the big question. Um, do I delay a turn? to wait for Rod in Peril, or do I go for the shift right away? I think I can finish off this fight without the Rod in Peril. I think. Shift is ready now. Um... I think we can do it without the Rod in Peril. I'm gonna try. I might regret this, but we're gonna go for it. Alright, let's go ahead and quad cast Thunderstrike without Rod and Peril. We are gonna get Rod and Peril next turn for the second turn of Shift, and it should be fine. If I come up short, I'm gonna be real sad and feel dumb. Oh yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, we're, we're 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 so fine. We are so fine. We, we could we could we could finish this out the fight, this fight out without Rod and Peril at all. Let's cover. Uh, it is a magic damage turn, so we're going to mitigate and uh, resist buff, and we need net the sight every single turn. Let's net the sight. Yeah, we got this. Okay. Not a problem. So we did this in 13 turns with Luna Freya. So for those of you that have not beaten Demon Chimera in 15 turns yet. If you don't have, like, um, Faisalus, or on Global, if you don't have Ibarra, and you're waiting for a new mage. Now, Luna Freya is really far away from Global, so you might be waiting for a long time. But eventually, she's going to be here to hopefully fix your problems. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and reload. Let's go ahead and Toxic Rain for all the damages. And let's finish out this fight. Okay, so 13 turns. We did it in technically 6 turns. Of her shift form, chaining, chaining thunderstrike. Uh, oops, got to turn that off. Um, okay, so not bad, not bad at all, actually. Pretty good. So six turns of her shift form. I wish her shift form was permanent. That'd be so overpowered if it was, though. Uh, yeah, her, her shift form, if it was permanent, <laughs> would be would be way overpowered. Uh, so okay, so we got it in six turns, and I ranked up. Uh, it is time for me to go and find some kind of way to dump all that extra energy I just got. Uh, so while I am using my energy on something, um, I will upload this video. So, hope it's enjoyable, and I will see you guys for maybe another trial later. We'll see. See you next time.